Oh, very clever, George. Before they knew it, it was time for the phone call with the scientists. Uh, I hope this works. I inhale, and the suction holds the page as I turn it. You ready? Uh-huh. Ah, ah. Okay, so that's good. Now I can read Professor Wiseman's notes and won't get nervous talking to the scientists about her invention. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, okay. No! That's them! All right, just stay calm. Everything's okay. Hello? Hello, this is Dr. Hasslein and the Science Board. Professor Wiseman said you'd answer our questions about her new Dexacta invention. Y yes, Doctor. Fine. That's strange. The video monitor isn't working. Video? Monitor? Yes. Surely Dr. Wiseman told you we requested a video conference. Ah, she... she... she must have forgotten to mention it. Well, if you can't manage, then we'll have to cancel. Cancel? No, 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 no. I... I, I can use my computer in the bedroom. Please hold. Help me, George! We gotta move all this to the bedroom, now! Oh! Did I think I wouldn't be nervous talking to geniuses who aren't monkeys? Hi. Uh, Professor Wiseman's Dexacta is excellent. Easy to use. Accurate. So, any questions? We only have one question. Uh, would you demonstrate the mechanism? Uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I thought I was just supposed to talk. I, I can't demonstrate it because, see, it's it, it's complicated. You said it was easy. If it's complicated, we will not approve it. Oh no 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 no! That's not what's complicated. It, it's a long story. No time for long stories. We're very busy geniuses around here. Uh, uh, please stand by. Is, uh, is that a monkey doodle? Don't want to let Professor Wiseman down. Ready, George? <laughs> <laughs> Doctors, the Wiseman dig Zacta. <gasps> you sound impressed. Why, yes. Are your hands really that hairy? I, I guess I forgot to shave this morning. Anyway, look how easy. You squeeze the lever to open the pail. You dig some dirt, release the lever to close, and the measurements are clearly marked. <gasps> Did I, did I say something wrong? You have three hands. Three extremely hairy hands. Oh, I, I shouldn't have tried this. This is George. <laughs> That's a monkey using the Dexacta. I can't use my hands. Sorry. Don't be. If a monkey can use it, then most scientists can. We unanimously approve the Wiseman Dexacta for use by scientists everywhere. And we love monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> to celebrate their big success, the man with the yellow hat made a meal without any help. <laughs> We're gonna be having a lot of salad for the next few weeks, George. <laughs> Garden soil. Excellent choice. 
coffee grounds will make the soil rich and airy. Ooh. <laughs> That's right, George. Add water and stir. <laughs> and some air holes for breathing. Now, just add worms. <laughs> wow. Hey, George. Big worm race at Lake Wanasink Lake. Bring your racer. Bet you can't beat Mr. Wiggly. <laughs> Worm fever had spread throughout the countryside. George had raced every worm in the valley. Only Mrs. Quinn stood between him and being champ. Mr. Wiggly is the best digger in my garden. Wow, he sure is a big one. <coughs> That's because I feed my worms veggies, and in return, they make my soil better, and that makes better veggies in my garden. Since all you cheering worm racers scare the fish at the lake, I'm going fishing in the river. Don't forget your lunch, dear. Yeah. Come on, guys. It's time for the championship race. Worm race, worm race. Worm race, worm race. We're ready when you are, George. <laughs> <gasps> oh, no. Mr. Quinn took your worms instead of his lunch. <laughs> I'm starved. I wonder what the missus packed for me this time. Worms. Well, the missus packed me some prime bait. Now that there is love. <laughs> there was no time to lose. <laughs> Catfish. Uh. George? Come here. That's a good monkey. Well, hey, is that my lunchbox? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, then this must be your worm farm. <laughs> good timing, I must say. <laughs> 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 With the championship won, George felt his worms deserved to retire to the garden and help the roses grow. <laughs> Worm racing isn't the only sport in town. You'll find a new hobby. <laughs> Hurry, <laughs> 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 I, 
I have to get my portfolio. Portfolio? I thought it was a bus and a bicycle and a monkey. Not a bicycle and a monkey, a monkey on a bicycle, but, but not pedaling. In a basket. In a basket? I wish you'd make up your mind. <laughs> George was almost back where he started, and he didn't see the man with the yellow hat anywhere. <laughs> But he did find out how the sand gets into sandboxes. <laughs> how was he ever going to catch up with that bus now? Maybe he could cut through the park and get to the glass palace before the bus did. <laughs> Is that your bus stopped at 10th Street? Yes, that's it. Do you see George anywhere? Who's George? You want a bus, then a monkey, then a bicycle, then a portfolio, now a George? I'm so sorry. I must get to the airport. Oh, I'll wait here. When he shows up, I'll tell him you had to go. Oh, the bus is getting away! Oh, no! George was so happy to stop, he almost didn't notice where he was. George had done it. He'd gotten there first. What is... <gasps> wow! Is this yours? Because I could use this! There's more! They're great! There's George! Stop the cab! George, my portfolio, my drawings. Dr. Forbin. Dr. Forbin? Uh, he didn't tell me to look for a Dr. Forbin. You say these are your drawings? They're exactly what I need for Science and Art Children's Museum in Paris. I want you to come to Paris right away and work with me. <sighs> you hear that, George? We're going to Paris. took a cab to catch a bus, to find a monkey, to get a portfolio, to show a doctor, to take a cab, to catch a plane, to go to Paris? That's a busy Sunday morning. Please hurry. We have a plane to catch in one minute. Wow. This is the latest he's ever been for anything. George needed a whole new way to measure. <gasps> if he wanted to come up with a good guess before it was too late. <gasps> George!
George, I just put in the winning guess, so come back at five o'clock to see me claim the prize, okay? Ha! Ah. Now I gotta go find Sharky. Here, catch! <laughs> huh. Grapes were smaller than fun balls. That would have been a bad guess. So eating the grapes was a good thing. To make a good guess, George had to find bigger round things to count. Hi, George. I'm heading to the thrift shop to donate these things so someone else can enjoy them. Ah! Ah, my old marble collection. Well, I've got cat's eyes, agates, some big Kong-sized ones, too. Ah. These big marbles were the closest yet to fun ball size. <laughs> oh, you won them? Well, be my guest, George. <laughs> George, did you enter the contest yet? Only half an hour left. <laughs> Thanks for breaking my fall. Were you using marbles to figure out your guess for the contest? <laughs> That's a pretty good idea, George. I estimated a fun ball to be almost as big as a golf ball. <laughs> I need to fill this with golf balls to help me guess. Where do I get that many golf balls? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. May we borrow these golf balls? We're trying to win a contest by five o'clock. <laughs> sure, but you'd better hurry. Thanks. If we win the contest, we'll split the prize, George. <laughs> The cookie holder is about one-third the size of the fun ball machine's container. So how many balls would be in three containers? 120! That's our number! <laughs> well, let's go. It's almost five o'clock. After I win, I'm gonna throw a fun ball party. Maybe I'll even invite you two. I found Sharky. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. George and Betsy came the closest with 120 balls. All right, George. <laughs> I don't get it. I divided red balls by green balls and multiplied by orange ones. What went wrong? <laughs> so, George and Betsy, how are you going to split the prize? It was sure nice of you two to give everyone a fun ball. Wow, this is even more fun than all the marbles I found in the street. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so, George, what are you going to do with the fun ball machine? can be my golf partners anytime. <laughs> they worked as a team and found out they were a really bad team. <laughs> George 
George figured if they lowered the sail, they'd stop blowing away. <laughs> the island stopped getting further away. But then the fog rolled in. Wow, it sure got foggy fast. Yeah. Hey, where's my boat? Oh no. George, Hundley? George and Hundley were fog bound. <laughs> Another island. How could they get there without blowing away again? <laughs> The motor. George had a feeling he should have left this where it was. Sure, sand was messy, but Hundley would rather be dirty than float away again. Now, they couldn't have gotten far. The water's too deep. We can't follow them without another boat. Or a raft. Come on, we'll need more wood and vines. If he was going to be stuck here, Hundley wasn't going to sit in sand the whole time. <laughs> that was when George realized he had no idea how to get back to the man with... without the yellow hat. Okay. We'll need just a few more, then we can tie them together into a raft. <laughs> this rock looked familiar. Usual rocks were almost identical. <laughs> Could it be? <laughs> George needed to get up high so he could see far. <sighs> Those trees could only mean one thing. <laughs> Footprints meant feet. Feet meant people, because you don't see a lot of feet on their own. <gasps> Do we have enough logs? I don't know how many more I can drag. We need more. <sighs> oh, thanks, George. George? <laughs> <laughs> Look who found me! Look who found me! Oh, Hundley! I thought you were lost! Um, you wouldn't happen to have my boat with you, would you? <laughs> Next stop, home sweet home! Hold it! <laughs> My yellow! 